Hey spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the Congo. We're playing as Nzinga Mabande and things are going amazing. Now we did just unlock, I just got friendship with people by the way, we did just unlock the ability to make cultists and we are going to go ahead and make a lot of cultists. And when I say a lot of cultists, I mean quite literally every single one of my cities, like the vast majority of this episode will be dedicated to the creation of cultists so that we can fill out all of these uh, great work slots. Yeah, um, which also means we need to get like some of this art out of these great slots. Um, so I might actually sell off some of my great works of art actually to like a crappy sieve who's not doing very well on the culture like if we take a look at the culture game um catherine is not doing very well on culture so if i could just go to her and be like hey yo sea dog catherine would you like all of my great works of art just like all these crappy great works of art oh you can't you can't hold that much what would you give me you give me 26 gold for all four of these crappy great works that i don't need and doesn't make it any harder for me to win a culture victory i'm probably not going to buy cultists in every city now to keep in mind every time we buy a cultist uh future cultist prices go up but we definitely want to fill out as many of these slots as possible we got room like one two three we got room in temples we got room in these we also got more great works to sell we got some sculptures we got to fill out too but yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be stonking along, boys. Boys and girls. Now, the world did just enter into the industrial era, which is fantastic. And we're getting tons of things. Can I go ahead and theme one of my artifact museums? So when you're theming using the Great Works viewer screen, you want to merge. I believe it's, um, you want to have same color, different numbers. So for example, I take the zero and put it up here. That becomes themed. And so this tool is just like super helpful for theming museums because all you have to do is match same color, different or same, same color, different number. And it makes like the matching part of the game just like so much easier. Yeah, boy. So we've got two themed museums. I can very easily get to three or four, I think, once I gather up a few more great works. The amazing thing about theming them is that it actually doubles the yield. So we're getting 12 food, 12 production from these. Like that's just, Jesus Christ, dude. It's so ridiculously good. Now let's buy the lighthouse and we'll buy the shipyard to help this city along. We'll grab the granary to continue to grow. And now we just send cultists to whatever the closest city is. And we're not trying to actually get these cities to revolt. We're literally just just trying to get the relics. Now, I don't know how much room for relics I have, but I'll probably do like three waves of cultists. I do miss the days where you could flip cities independent with the cultists. I don't like that they removed that from the game. It was a really fun, it was a really cool mechanic, and I'm kind of sad that they took it out um, as a result of community feedback. I mean, I understand why they took it out of the game. It doesn't mean I, I, li it doesn't mean I like it. All right, nice. So we just unlocked suffrage, so we can go ahead and switch over to democracy which will give us some error score. And we can start to plug in some really important cards like New Deal, like Liberalism. Uh, so we can maximize the total amount of amenities that we're getting in our empire. It would also be quite nice to plug in Vissel Bank and while we start getting allies. Um, and speaking of allies, I would like to be allied with Australia. Uh, Australia, let's do a research alliance, sure. Then it was Ethiopia. I think we'll do a religious alliance. And then it was Batriu. I guess we can do a cultural alliance. And then France, we can do an economic alliance. Sounds good to me. And then finally, China, we can do a military alliance. Doesn't really matter who's who. What's important is just that I have an alliance with as many people as possible, just to improve the quality of my trade routes that I'm going to be sending around. So if you're curious about how cultists actually work, basically you just get them to stand next to enemy cities. And um, when they activate their ability, they will destroy 10 loyalty on that city. So you can see here, the city now has... Um, 90 out of 100 loyalty. It used to be you could get loyalty, if you got loyalty all the way down to zero, the city would flip independent with cultists. That was really, really fun and really silly to do to people. But they took that out of the game, which is kind of like, you know, took away a cool mechanic. But yeah, so they took that out of the game. And now the only thing that happens is when you use three charges of a cultist, you get a relic, which was the most useful part of the cultists. So my cultists are now up to about 500 gold each. And I want to fill out all of my great work slots. So I'm going to be building a lot of these. And I think I can, that's the last one that I can afford. So I think that's enough cultists. And now I might want to start looking into other ways to spend my faith, like rock bands, for example. I got myself another great writer. Uh, I will teleport him over to this theater square right here so that I can grab myself another tiny little bit of tourism to 350 tourism per turn, a very respectable amount, 30 tourists on the bank. Uh, my troops are merely passing by. I didn't realize I had troops on your border. I'm a little bit confused about that. Okay, first relic in the bank. And every time we do this now, we will start to get relics, which is really nice. Unfortunately, we did lose logistics, which isn't the end of the world. It's just like, it's tier two annoying. You know, it's like, uh, it's kind of annoying. All right, another relic, cool. 
Keep going. Yeah, we're doing it. We're making it. It is happening right here, right now. So we got the Bank of the Bands of Congo. Let's go ahead and make sure we get the broadcast centers. You got your harbor. I'll buy your lighthouse and I'll buy your shipyard. And I will buy you a proper defensive unit like the catapult. Cataparuto. Boom. I don't know why. Whenever I read catapult, it makes me think of cataparuto, which I think is like, I think it's like a Japanese word for, I feel like I've heard it in a game or something, but I have no idea. Houston is flipping independent, weirdly enough, and so is Chicago. America must be in a dark age, and it looks like, yes, they are, as is Brazil. So Brazil will be having a little bit of loyalty trouble as well. Uh, we can get Titian. I don't know if I will be doing anything with Titian. Uh, I might just go ahead and put him asleep somewhere random, because I don't need great works of uh, art that are religious in nature. Boom, Lomingo, good job. Get that Menelik. Great works. Cultist, A, eh? very nice, very nice. Cultist, any cultists? In the YouTube chat, let me have a look here. Um, I want to look at relics. So I still have a ton of room for relics. Let's make sure we pack as many relics into the capital as possible, just so we can, like, totally see those yields. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is there a way for me to see that on the city? <laughs> 27 production from Great Works. Oh, that is so juicy. I've never seen anything quite like that. We are making an absolute... We're making nearly a thousand signs per turn, dude. That is ridiculous. And you know what's goddamn hilarious? I'm helping Chicago flip independent. Even though that's not my goal, that is the effect of what I'm doing right here. That's amazing. But yeah, uh, the cultists were kind of overpowered because if you if you used enough cultists in a single turn, you could like flip any city um, anywhere, which was obviously a little bit problematic for the gameplay. Like, yeah, sure. But it was also really fun. And usually if somebody asks me, uh, is something problematic and I should stop doing it? Usually the first question I have is, uh, am I having a really good time doing it? You know, totally fair question, I think. Yeah, you, you might not want me to do this thing, but is it awesome? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> can you imagine though, if people were like that? Jesus, what a horrifying world we would live in. Hey dude, can you stop stealing my car? Uh, excuse me, stealing cars is awesome. Screw you. Uh, many dispute the actual start of the atomic era, but we know it was Congo discovered computers. So there's the 25% boost towards tourism across my empire, getting me a really healthy production line. Now, one thing that we need to keep in mind is you can see here, we're generating uh, currently only 572 tourism with uh, Menelik. And that's because we're taking a 50% penalty to our tourism for having different religions and enlightenment. Uh, so we need to we need to ease that off. Also, it could be a potentially good idea to try to spread my religion. I think I spread my religion to two people. The only person that might be worth spreading my religion to would be Menelik. Um, but I think I could just overpower him with raw tourism generation uh, because these um, these relics are just so damn good at what they do. Oh my God, look, we're only beginning to fill up the reliquaries. I believe there actually is a limit to the number of relics you can generate in a game of Civ. I think it's like 40 or something. There's some number of relics that you cannot go beyond because there just actually isn't enough like randomly. They're not even randomly generated. Every relic is like handcrafted or whatever. So there's just a limit. You can't you can't go over it. Once we have computers, the only real tech that I care about now is getting steel for lumber mill, but I might just skip steel this game. We'll see. Um, I'll attack with you, step you there, eat you. Buy a catapult. Keep working on it. The reason you buy siege units to defend from navy is because siege units don't take the penalty that other units do. Okay, now this is a little bit concerning. Um, we have a... Oh! Apparently if your cultists are killed, they generate relics as well. There's another useful thing. So there really is no way to win against the cultists. Like, no matter what you do to them or do against them, uh, they are helping their owner. Which I kind of like. I like the addition of the cultists. It was a cool mechanic. Oh my god, I have so many relics, dude. I have so many relics. Like, my tourism per turn and my culture has exploded as a result of this. We've still got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. And then if I can get these great works of art out into my broadcast centers, that'd be quite helpful. Um, I think, especially because we're playing the Congo, we definitely would like to unlock shopping malls. A, for amenities, which will keep our amenity line going really high. Uh, but also it's plus four tourism. It's a way for us to convert production into tourism. And those are those tend to be rather rare. Uh, this city, does it already have an Mbanza? It does. So we don't need to build an Mbanza. I could go ahead and build a Bolshoi Theater for more great work room. And I will. Uh, and I'll go ahead and quickly buy myself a builder because it looks like there's a little bit of land here that could be developed. Theater Square. Excellent. Let's go ahead and purchase the amphitheater. Purchase the... Arch 
well, yeah, it's purchased the Archaeological Museum. After I get capitalism, I want to get cultural heritage for the shipwrecks. In fact, I'm going to get cultural heritage first and then capitalism. The archaeologist will take 21 turns to build or I could buy it uh, for 15% less gold. So that's that's why we transition. That's partially why we transition to democracy at this time as well. It lines up really well with um, us no longer being able to really use faith for builders and settlers. So we, well, we can still get a lot of value out of gold purchasing. So we transition to a gold economy. All right, catapult army is complete. Defending this city we need to rebuild this stuff. We'll get around to it. Cabasa is coming along nice. We're just about to get the crystal red and tour. So we should see our tourism per turn skyrocket here. Now it won't be reflected in the actual number up here. I wonder, is this card worth plugging? in. 100% uh, tourism from Great Works of Art and Artifacts. That's actually reasonably good. I'm going to plug that in over scripture. I think I value the tourism over the faith right now. And pretty soon I'll be getting rid of public work. But yeah, if we look at our effective tourism per turn now, we're up to a thousand tourism. So that was like a big jump in our effective tourism against Menelik. Um, but if we look at someone like John Curtin, who does share our religion, like we're making a ton, ton of tourism against him. So spreading your religion can actually help you out quite a bit in a tourism game. I am going to go for the National History Museum because I want to fit as many relics in here as possible. I should continue to recruit cultists. There's a new relic and yet another relic coming, a relic coming. You're going, you're going. Excellent. Okily dokily neighborino. We got the harbor in here. Uh, let's faith purchase a catapult protect the city. So what is our tourism? We're over a thousand tourism per turn. This could be a sub 200 culture win, which would be kind of fun. I would really like that. So they're saying I'll win in 39 turns. I do have rock bands, um, but I think it would be good. The efficiency of these is like really, really high. So I think it'd be good to fill out my great work slots first. I can move a great work here. Okay, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. Relics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Room for seven more relics. I can buy an art museum in Bakavu. To make room for more relics. Uh, how many cultists do I have? Way more than seven. Okay, so I don't need to buy any more cultists. I can focus entirely on rock bands from here on out. And the person I want to send rock bands against is a Menelik. So we will just start purchasing those bad boys. Let's make sure we focus on faith generation in these cities. Holy Site Commercial Up Entertainment Complex. You have your Mbanza. Why don't you build a builder for a couple of turns? Because we do need a couple of those. Oh my god, there's so many relics. So many relics, dude. I must be getting close to the relic cap. There's no way that there can be that many more relics right now. I like going into the quick deals because you can just see the list of great works that I have at my empire right now. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we got room for one more great work. However, we do have sculptures. So if I look at great works of art, yeah, I need to build a um, couple art museums to shift these things out. When Hermitage is finished, that'll make a little bit more room. I can shift out some of those sculptures because I see these purple things. The and this. I could also sell this off. I would like to keep the sculptures, but I will sell off my... What's that one called? This is Sistine Chapel ceiling. I'll sell this off to France. Ooh, wait. France's culture jumped. But it's not nearly as high as Menelik, so I can totally sell her the Sistine Chapel ceiling. I like the idea of us just like transporting it. Hey, yo, we got this really sweet ceiling. Would you like it? And she's like, ah, oh, shh. Sure. Set, put it in a U-Haul, baby. Nice. We have unlocked capitalism, so we can now start to build shopping malls for extra tourism. Where do we stand? Okay, we're making really good pace here. 55 out of 180. Uh, the next big milestone is to grab environmentalism because that'll be another 25% boost towards tourism across our empire. Then once we have environmentalism, we're going to head down to social media to get online communities for another 50% tourism output to civilizations that we have trade routes with. So that'll be the two key late game boosts here that we're looking for. Market completed in Mbamba. How important is this flooding issue? So we're actually not producing much CO2 in the world at all here. Um, now, did you ever build an Mbamba? You never built an Mbamba, so we're going to go ahead and build an Mbanza. Mbanza. Right, rock band, get moving. We got to give you a name. You'll be the Radical Spades and your promotion will be Space Rock. Totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, let's go ahead and build us a few more of those rock bands. Now, rock bands go up by 100 faith every time you buy one. So they do get pretty expensive, um, especially compared to cultists. So there's the second last. We can get one more relic before we fill out our slots. A city has reached 20 population. It's rare that I ever even hit that milestone. We've got military engineering on the way. Nice. And uh, I want one more relic real quick. Uh, you. I will butter up. Oh, I didn't actually get a relic for that. Was that it? Was that the last one? Did we do it? Did we deplete the relic store? Yeah, I think we depleted so there's no more relics available. We have generated all of the possible relics. I think 30 relics is about the limit because we have about 27. So I would imagine there's possibly like a relic hanging around somewhere out there. Yeah, we got, we, we got a ton of relics. So no more relics are available. 
So that means no more cultists should be recruited by me. And we absolutely are making like a ridiculous. <laughs> Look at these numbers, dude. It's so good. My God. Let's theme another museum. I'd love to theme this museum doing that. What about you? Can I theme you? I'm very close to theming these. I just need some more Menelik. No, I need some industrial era artifacts. I've got three archaeologists out on the field, I think. Yeah, so they're they're working on it. And the nice thing is, I think when you do shipwrecks, they're more likely to be later eras, I believe. Yeah, Renaissance here. I'll take a Catherine one. We got our National History Museum. Let's go ahead and get a shopping mall. That's a three turn for plus four tourism. It's not super, super optimal, um, but it is what we like to do. Now, my Radical Spades, they are uh, performing on campuses at a higher level. So they have a 37% chance to die as opposed to like a 50% chance. That's a pretty significant increase. They did manage to level up. Very cool. So they generated a thousand tourism. They sold 150 albums, which means every single action they take beyond now will be worth 1.5 times more. Uh, they also got a promotion and they got a second tier performance. Uh, so this rock band over here, let's take a little bit of a look at you. What do you got available? Uh, we could do religious rock. This could actually be really handy for converting Menelik. Now he'll get mad about that for sure, but I don't care. Now, I don't see a whole lot of harbors inside Menelik's territory, but I think we're going to go for Glamrock. Glamrock is the S tier promotion uh, because it gives you the highest chance to keep your rock bands alive and also to promote them. So in my opinion, Glamrock is the best rock, or at the very least, it's the best promotion for your rock bands. So if you want to be a rock band that, that you know, lives to, uh, to tell the story, make sure you, you figure out how to do Glamrock, all right? I guarantee you. Success guaranteed. Possibly. Maybe. Sometimes. All right, cool. We won both of the World Congress things. We get 20% faster population growth and Giga Relics has plus 10 religious combat strength. Um, let's go ahead. Can we buy some boats here? I'll grab my own privateers to defend against this privateer shenanigans that I've got going on. Shopping malls come online. Very cool. I'm going to start running holy side prayers and focusing on faith in my city so that I can maximize my faith generation, which should maximize the number of rock bands I can make. So the Radical Spades uh, do have a level up. Album cover art is a pretty good one because they're already level two and then getting another level is quite good. Uh, I just want to get rid of these cultists. Now, what are you? You are religious rock, so I can convert any city that I play on. So I'll go ahead and play on Stonehenge. How did you do? 2,500 tourism and 100 albums sold. Not bad. Uh, the Night Builders, I think I'll put you on here. You're glam rock, so you've got a good chance of not dying here. 6,200 or 600... Two, 625 tourism, not bad. I've got another rock band down here. This will be Super House. And you will be... Mm, none of these are super useful. National Parks and National Wonders are fine, I guess. I still have a ton of tiles that are like unimproved over in Mbamba. I just never got around to doing it. Um, I've spent so much faith this game, but it's really, really fun to do. I, 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 the faith resource, they just did such a good job making it interesting and fun. Like it's fun to get, it's fun to use, but I think they definitely overtuned it. Like faith is too good now. Nice, there's metal casting and rapid deployment. We're a step closer to our goals. Let's blast this privateer. You take this and then retreat. Cleared out that barb camp. We can claim a great person. It's a great writer and a great artist. We care about the great writer, not so much the great artist. Um, great artists don't have a really good value proposition for us right now. Although that said, these are just blank spots that aren't being occupied. So we may as well like make use of these great works of art. Why wouldn't we? Is the question. Build an Mbanza in Mabujimai. I have another rock band. So can you find another theater square? No. So if you play on a campus now, you've only got a 26% chance of dying, which is ideal. 2,250 tourism and a couple more albums. That's good. Any more theater squares around? There is one down here. Make your way to that theater square. You're a converter, so you converted this city. I want to play on this to try and convert this city. 50-50 shot that you die. Well, not bad, actually. Good job. Uh, we converted the holy city, I assume, of Addis Ababa. Um, which is going to make my, my job a lot easier. Go ahead and play a Stonehenge. You're a sacrificial lamb. I want you to die. Yes, 2,000 tourism, but you died. Perfect. You're my RNG buffer, okay? Entertainment complexes. Uh, I'll do that. I'll take Arena Rock. I feel like there should be a card in the game that lets you fund rock bands with gold, but like makes them operate one level lower. Ooh, that's actually a cool idea. Call it like K-pop. <laughs> The K-pop card. Everything is like manufactured and funded um, and people who fail just fail quick. I gotta be careful what I say about K-pop. Like, say what you want about politics. Um, K-pop fans are genuinely terrifying. They're unhinged. Now, not all K-pop fans, but the unhinged K-pop fans are especially unhinged, is what I will say. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of damage. All right, we have economics. Let's kill this. Kill this. Now we're looking to cook with diesel. What are you... So what are you doing here? Album cover art. 
religious rock. So I guess you're just converting cities. Go play in the pyramids, dude. Um, you're going to the theater square, so mission accomplished. You're looking for entertainment complexes, so that's that. You are looking for campuses. There's a nice campus, campus over here. What do you got promotion-wise? Let's have a look. Water parks? I sleep, dude. Um, I suppose we just take the pops bar. That's fine. Let's get more rockmans. How is our culture victory? Look at 12 turns until we win. Can we do a sub? Do you think we could do a sub? Uh, I don't think we can do a sub 200 here. That seems like a big ask. Any big askers? Amphitheater? I lied. I'm going to get an archaeological museum. I lied. I said I wasn't and I will. I'm. You know what? I just am a liar. I'm happy to lie to you. You deserve to be lied to. Okay? This is like, this is, by the way, this is a typical abuser tactic. For those of you who don't know, they will do something bad and then say you deserved it. Okay? If somebody does that to you, it's not a good thing. Don't listen to them. Okay? You're beautiful. You're special. I love you more than anyone else. That's also another abuser tactic, by the way. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not go over. Let's keep it light, guys. Right? Let's keep it snappy. Keep it fun. Listen. All I'm saying is, everyone should be on the lookout. Everyone should have a little bit of a guard, okay? You shouldn't have like a perfect guard, right? You should, but like a little, a little guard, I think, is appropriate. I think there's too many people out there that don't have a guard. And you see it. Also, I think there's too many people out there just out there being manipulative assholes. Maybe, maybe less of that, eh? How about, how about less of that? I read Reddit, dude. Goddamn, you would not believe the amount of stories people tell on there. Okay, my poor little rock band died about getting effed over by like a childhood friend or whatever. And I'm like, dude, can people just stop being jerks? My God. Okay, uh, the Great Culling is here. All the Rackbounds are dying. This is probably just a bad RNG turn, so I'm just gonna, like, let him ride it out. Um, continue to farm Rackbounds. Any more room for great works of art? I think we've basically fulfilled our need. We're gonna break, like, 2,000 tourism per turn this game. Um, uh, and I am super, super here for it. Environmentalism is about to trigger. That brings us up above two tur 2,000 tourism, like we said. We got replaceable parts. We got environmentalism. Very nice. What are we standing at? Nine turns to win? <gasps> Dude, wait, am I actually, am I actually going to get a sub 200 win? I haven't had a sub 200 tourism win in, I, I actually don't know how long. Um, so if you're wondering, what's the best place to perform? Campuses get you 500 tourism. Wonders get you 1,000. Theater squares get you 250, but it's actually based on how developed the thing is. So, but I would say generally wonders are your best bet. Uh, because I got 2,000 tourism out of that, which is a tourist. God, can I just get a good promotion? This is one thing, this is similar, the, the rock band situation is kind of a similar thing about what I don't like about, um, uh, so entertainment complex, 26% chance of death and you survived you got a few albums getting albums is really really good by the way really really good if you get albums it means your rock band is slowly generating more and more and more and more and more and more and more tourism and um, because every hundred albums that a rock band has modifies the base amount of tourism they generate when they do an action by uh 100 so if you generate 100 tourism and you have 500 albums multiply that by five basically is how that works if people didn't know it's one of those lesser known game mechanics. There's so many like lesser known little game mechanics. So let's have a look at the old uh, artifact situation. So what's not themed? We've got something that's not themed here. Um, yeah, I guess I'm missing some Catherine or Renaissance era. Ooh, what if I put this five over here? There we go. There we go. Another themed museum. So Pedro just denounced me because I'm winning the game too hard. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be mad. So we got 104 out of 189 and now it's 114 out of 189. Oh, poggers, dude. All right, please don't die. Okay, wonders. I feel like wonders have really bad RNG. Um, I feel like people die on wonders way too often. But let's convert another city. Another unit died, of course. Uh, let's play on the this 750 tourism. Very nice. Um, what have we got? We got you. You're going on a campus. 26% chance of success. Uh, okay, 1,000 tourism. Not bad. All right, fresh meat. What do you got? Actually, that's what I'm going to call you. Uh, you will be fresh meat. Your pudge is banned. What do we got here? Seaside resorts and goes to 11. Damn, can I get some glam rock in the house here? Dude, I... I'm such a, I don't want to, I don't want this city. Houston, no way, dude. Uh-uh, no thank you. I wouldn't be the first person to refuse Houston, okay? All right, Bella, nice. We'll get a Catherine relic. Let's have a look. So Catherine, can I put this here? There's a theme and theme this. Ooh, not quite. I would need to do this swap. Boom, theme, theme, theme. So we've only got one, two, three museums that aren't themed. Basically all of my museums are themed, which is like nearly a best case scenario. Super happy with that. So 118 tourists goes up to 125. Oh man, we are, we are charging towards victory here. Thousand tourism and he died. I swear to God, I need to stop. I need to stop going on wonders. I feel like they, they, I feel like there's a glam rock. Nice. I feel like they, 
broke wonders or something. Get another rock band. There's another campus over here, right? 26% chance that you die. You did not die. You got a thousand tourism. But the most important thing is that you're building up those albums. You're up to 300 albums. Um, any more entertainment complexes? There is one here. Do you, do, does... Is this on a hill? Is that the problem? It's on a hill and a rainforest. Okay. First shopping mall is out. Go ahead and get the stock exchange and then go and do holy side prayers for me. Looks like somebody spawned some barbs over here. Not that I care. Nice. There's Broadway. 20% uh, culture, free random atomic era civic boost and uh, room for great works. Also a tiny trickle of tourism in of itself, which must have some value. Oh no, these barbs came from this barb camp. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Recruit this great person, recruit this great person. What have we got? Broadway. Good job on the Broadway. Get the shopping mall and then go back to Holy Side Prayers. We can maximize our faith gain. Make a 1.2k faith per turn. So what are you good at? You're good at theater squares, which is one of the better abilities. Okay, 600 tourism. I'm not going to complain about that. What do you got here? Pop star. I'll take pop star. New emu. So fresh meat, cheap poets. I think fresh meat like immediately died, which is sad because I spent some time to actually name them personally. That's uh, so a deep sabotage. 26% chance of failing here. Oh, they got a level up. 600 tourism, 150 albums and a promotion. That's a big step up. If we can continue to find um, entertainment complexes or level them up in a different thing, that'll be really, really nice. If, if you like getting glam rock level two is actually really powerful. Need more th campuses. There's a campus there. It'll take you a little bit of time to get over there. What do you got? Rock band. Um, you go here. Boom. And oh, I lost suzerainty of my culture city states. I should have another 300 tourism or culture. <laughs> 1,400 culture, by the way. I have no idea where this culture is coming from. Like, real? Oh, right. Most of it's coming from faith. My insane faith gain. Great works is huge. Buildings and amenities. I have a. Holy shit, dude. I have a 45% modifier to my culture. Why do I have a 45% modifier to my culture? Wait, what? Why do I have a 55% modifier to my culture? 25% in here. Oh, right, Broadway. Okay, 25% is the normal. So I'm getting 25% more culture. Damn, is it really? Am I really making 1,400 culture per turn? This sieve is busted, dude. It's actually just busted. The sieve is broken. That one change, that was all that Congo needed. All that Congo needed was the ability to make holy sites and it became the most broken culture sieve in the entire game. Like, who knew? Who knew that was what that was, that, that was going to happen there? That's insane. I have so many traders available. I need to start, I need to use up all my traders. Hold on. I keep forgetting to use these. Let me quickly. I didn't build any spies this game. I, did, I don't need them. So why did I, why, why, why bother? Uh, hermitage complete. Good, good, good. Room for great works. And we got professional sports. Come into Capasa. And we just, we buy these traders. Get all of these traders for the city. There we go. And we start looking to trade with faraway people. Um, great work. How are we looking victory wise? Five turns. Ooh. Almost a sub 190. That would have been a nice feather in my cap. Let's purchase the stadium. It's worth a little bit of tourism here. And a bunch of amenities. Keeping that nice happiness of our cities up above maximum. Jeez. Granary. Watermill. Is there anything you can't do? I have a lot of busy work on my turns. A lot of busy work. And what I mean by busy work is stuff that I have to do that doesn't actually help me win the game. So you're kind of crappy. I'm going to try doing a campus, okay? 50-50 shot on a campus. And you survived and did really well. Okay. Uh, confirmed. Campuses are busted. They're actually just busting. I need an entertainment complex. You have a level, actually. I don't like album cover art, but I will take it. I don't like it. It's scary. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they did, but they, I think they, they, they must have screwed. Maybe this is personal bias speaking. Okay, sure. I can maybe say that. But like, it feels like whenever I do a rock band thing on a, uh, on a thing, on a, on a, um, on a wonder, the chance of dying is just way higher. Now, maybe this is just like a perceptual issue, but literally every rock band that has died for me today has died as a result of playing on a wonder. Like, let's take this guy, one of my favorite rock bands. He's done amazing. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go do, put him on a wonder. Um, let's do the theater square. You survived. Oh my God. Like literally every, all of them have died on a wonder. This guy, if I put him on this wonder, he dies. 100%. 100% chance he dies. This guy right here, he's going to go play the pyramids and die. I guarantee it. Holy shit. He leveled up at 6,000 third. Oh my God. 200 albums sold? What is this guy? Jesus? If Jesus was a rock band, if Jesus was a rock star, what kind of band would he play in actually? That's a good question. Smooth jazz. Uh, music festival. Yeah, none of these matter. These aren't very good. Uh, what is good though, is that we are continuing to recruit a rock band nearly every single turn. I'll put a couple of traders in Mabuji Mai just in case I can reach some other players because we're about to get social media, which will help. Otherwise, I guess I'll just trade for gold and yields. Also, bro, look at the city's yields. 150 production. Damn. Uh, we got a massive surplus of food. Let's start making some advances in here. 
Hell yeah, let's do it. So it's saying I'm going to win in 10 turns. I have a feeling that's going to go down a bit after that 6k. That 6k tourism moment. Okay, there's rocketry. Social media. We will plug in social media, but boom. Three turns to win. Ooh, baby. Uh, so social media is quite important to plug in. I'll also plug in satellite broadcast. I think Republican Legacy now is a bit old in the hat. Nay, I lied. Republican Legacy is still based. However, online communities is even more based. Our tourism per turn generation against Menelik is 3k. Against Australia, it's 4.3k. So we're getting multiple tourists per turn. I think we can win in two turns here. Glam Rock, any levelers? Oh, 500 tourism and a level. That's amazing. You leveled up. What do you got? Surf Band. These aren't very good. All right, let's do Minkanashki Temple. Oh, 5,500 tourism. Big, big pogs. We're pogging out of control, dude. Right, what do you do? Uh, you earn gold, so let's do the campus. Boom. Somehow they lived on the campus. These camp this campus has good RNG, dude. I swear to God. The campus has good RNG. What do you do? National Parks, National Wonders. Let's do the theater square. Okay, he died. Okay, he had bad RNG. One guy had bad RNG. Little penguin on the way. Um, can't afford another rock band. That's fine. So can you reach Korea? You can't quite reach France. Sorry, not Korea. Vietnam. Um, so we got social media, which was the card that we were looking for. Ideally, we could also plug in collective activism just to make our culture go like giga pogged, which we'll do next turn. We'll just for the fun of it to see if we can break 2k culture. We'll plug that in. Take control of Laor, plus two error score and a little bit of vision. I didn't even reveal the whole map. I didn't need to. I, I, like there's probably city states in the fog of war that could have made me win even faster, but I didn't need them. The game is won, my dude. Literally growing in two turns in my capital. This is insane, dude. City is insane. All right, you go play the Temple of Artemis. Let's see what you got. 5,000 tourism. Feeling good. We're on the cusp of victory. You earn gold. Go kill yourself at Stonehenge. Oh, you lived. Amazing. I thought he was going to die for sure, dude. Give me a little bit of tourism. Just give me a trickle. Oh, he gave me the trickle. The tourism trickle. It's happening. The tourism trickle. I think that might just be a win here, depending on how, how well I rolled and how much tourism I'm going to generate here. Roll high. Roll high. Roll high. I think I win. It's got to be close. Maybe if I don't win this turn, I win next turn for sure. Damn. I'm genuinely shocked I didn't win there. Oh, I did. I won the game. Uh, turn 190 win. Congratulations, me. Super fun sieve. This sieve is busted. Amazing fun. I really, really love playing with holy sites. I love everything about the sieve is amazing. I love the extra great people points. I love the amazing giga yields. Bro. Let me, let me, let me grab some relics. I'm going to fill my capital with relics. Hold on. Oh my God. Now I could, is it more impressive to have the culture number there as well? Right. Here's a question I have. Is it more impressive for the thumbnail? If I have the culture number there as well, or is it more impressive if the tourism number is just like giga huge? I think it's more impressive if the tourism number is giga huge. Look at this capital. 150 production, 40 production from Great Works, 40 food from Great Works, 80 gold from Great Works, 202 faith from Great Works. That is getting multiplied by 60%. What the actual fuck? All right, let's shift enter the finish the turn and force the end of the game. I will call that a turn 190 win. Um, super happy with that game. Super happy with the sieve. Super happy with life in general. Having a great time here, boys. Let's have a look at our player faith. You can see, dude. You can see when the faith spike happened. My faith was on track and then boom, it went up. I wish I could like zoom in on different parts of the graph. More interactive graphs, okay? Feedback for Civ 7. Let me interact with the graphs. Oh, look at that player culture. Well, I probably had like crazy player gold. Yeah, crazy player gold. Cr pretty good player science. Not, in, you know, not crazy. Because I mean, like if, if, I, if I toggle this on and off, you can kind of see where I was a little bit easier. Most important is a total of religion. It's founded graph. You can see here, I was third to found a religion, but I was first to win your heart playing Civ. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I love you all very much. Very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.